G'day Legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we are checking out the new Direct module from Synergy. This is based on the iconic Dual Rectifier preamp. There are two identical channels on here with gain, bass, middle, treble, presence, and volume controls. Furthermore, there is an orange and a red mode on each channel. We will have a listen to what this sounds like in isolation, but I've been a big fan of the Rectifier sound for many, many years. A lot of my favorite albums were recorded with Rectifiers. I always kind of think of Ty Tabor's sound on King's X, Dogman as my ultimate recto tone, but you know, so much stuff through the 90s and early 2000s used Rectifiers. I've used them a lot as well on Ragdoll stuff. Our Back to Zero album was recorded with an old Revision G. So what I'm gonna do is actually just play you a little snippet of a Ragdoll song called Follow the Leader. I've recorded the guitars with the direct module on the red mode. It sounds like this. <laughs> Let's start out on the orange mode with the gain below noon and the bass, middle, treble, and presence controls all at noon, which is not the way I would set up a recto, but I'm just gonna dial it in as I go really quickly. And for me, the control that is always the biggest influence on the sound with a recto is the mid-range control and how it relates to where the treble and presence as well as the bass are set. Generally, I like to pull bass out of these and if you boost up the mid-range and the presence, it gets kind of martially. I mean, it doesn't sound like a Marshall next to a Marshall, but if you think rectifiers are all just about that kind of scooped wall of sound, it may surprise you. And then we'll go over to the red mode where the giant Chungus lives. So bridge pickup of this PRS CE24 standard, basically the new metal rig du jour. <laughs>
so much fun. I just love the rectifier thing and so much of the sound comes from the preamp and so much of the sound comes from those tiny adjustments you might make to the bass or the mid range or the treble and presence on there. I do love a boosted recto in drop C. It's one of my favorite things of all time. In fact, the Ragdoll album Back to Zero, you can see the vinyl edition there that you can buy, link in the video description if you wanna grab that, was all a boosted Rev G recto double tracked and then another set of doubles with another amp, kind of like an amp blending thing. But the Recto was definitely better boosted on there. We use a couple of different drives. I'm just gonna use a Boss SD-1 Super Overdrive for this and pretty much the same settings that we had before. This is a PRS DGT in drop C. Have a listen to this. <laughs> feels as well there's this real particular squelch kind of changes the way I personally play guitar like playing a recto style preamp boosted makes me do different things in the same way if I'm playing a Les Paul and I jump on a Strat I start doing different things and yeah that sound may not be the most appropriate for your Tuesday night blues jam it may not be the most appropriate for your super tight technical gent band but it just does what it does so well and furthermore it's so fun to play with that much gain and low end on there in the same way it's fun to play with lots of reverb and delay at home, you know? Context is not important. You just wanna bash away at your guitar. You know, you've had a 
long day at work, you come home, you go to drop C, you plug into a recto style preamp, you boost it, and you just kind of forget about everything for a period of time. Let's do something really subtle now because we just did ultimate brutality. Uh, this is a Fender Buddy Guy Strat with some Fralin single coils in it. Look at the settings on here. <laughs> I'm on the orange mode, gain just below noon, no bass, no treble, no presence, mid-range all the way up. I think this is a pretty cool rootsy bluesy kind of sound. I said maybe that recto sound that I had before wasn't the most appropriate for your Tuesday night blues jam, but this might be. I'll go to the neck pickup to start. <laughs> similar but not identical settings, essentially just keeping the treble all the way up. On the red mode with the gain all the way up, it gives you a beautiful vocal singing lead sound as well. Check this out, no boost. <laughs> channel module as well I could set up orange for my lower gain crunch or my kind of bluesy clean sound and then just flick over to the second channel on the red mode set up for high gain let's hear that side by side <laughs> Stumps right there. Thank you to Synergy for sending this module out so that I can make this video. I will have to do a comparison between a bunch of my favorite high gain modules in the not too distant future because between this, the PV6505, the Ubershal module, the 2CP, and even the 800 module boosted up. There are so many great options when it comes to hard rock and metal guitar sounds in the Synergy ecosystem now. For now, I wanna hear from all of you. How did you like the sounds in this video? Are you gonna grab a direct for your Synergy system? And what would you like to see from them next? I'll put more information in the video description. And if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, you can buy some of the music that I make with Ragdoll or sign up to my Patreon. It is all linked in the video description. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.